Thank you all for being here this morning. We are here to speak about the surrender, the arrest, the beginning of the prosecution of a man named Michael Vahey, V-A-H-E-Y. Mr. Vahey is responsible for the death of Dr. Barbara Fritas, who was riding her bicycle at 18th and Spruce when she was struck by Vahey, who was driving his vehicle. Evidence in this case, only recently available, has established that he was intoxicated, that he had alcohol in his system at twice the, the legal limit. It was essentially a 0.16 blood alcohol level. The legal limit is 0.08. There's a lot to say about this, but I want to make sure that you know that we have been in close contact with the family of Dr. Fritas. Uh, we are aware of what they have to do now, and that, of course, is to take care of all the family aspects of the death of Dr. Fritas. I'd like to introduce some of the people who are with us today. Then I have a few comments, and I will get out of the way and let some other people speak. We are honored to have with us today Philadelphia Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel, whose police department did an excellent job with this investigation and continues to investigate certain aspects of the case that will illuminate how we prosecute it and whatever the final decisions are on charging. We have with us Ben Waxman, state representative of the 182nd Legislative District. Jesse West, executive di director of the Neighborhood Bike Works. Christopher Gale, executive director of the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia. Nicole Brunet, policy director for the Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia. From the district attorney's office, we have first assistant Bob Listenby. We have ADA Joanne Pescator, and we have the prosecutor who will personally handle this matter, and that is ADA Katie Wood of the DAO's Homicide Non-Fatal Shooting Unit, who is now serving as an assistant supervisor. We have with us Gabriel Rainey from Central Division Victim Services, who is doing great work with the family. And we also have representatives from the Office of Council Pre President Kenyatta Johnson and Council Member Jamie Gautier. In a moment, I'm going to call up Katie Wood and Joanne Pescator to lay out some of the facts that we have on this case, explain what the charges are at this time. <clears throat> I can tell you that as we speak, Mr. Vahey is in custody. He surrendered last night, and he is awaiting a preliminary arraignment, which we expect to happen later today. At that arraignment, the district attorney's office will be seeking high bail, <clears throat> despite the fact that this defendant has no prior record. Obviously, the crime is horrible. The outcome is almost unspeakable. Today, um, we are gathered together to explain some developments in the vehicular death of Dr. Dr. Barbara Fritas, which occurred on the 17th of July, 2024. Our thoughts, of course, are with the family, as our communications have been as well. I have directed our chief of the DAO's Homicide Non-Fatal Shooting Unit and her team also to speak to the spouse of Dr. Fritas. Um, this has occurred, and we are in close contact with them. When they have more time, we will be meeting in person with them and discussing in detail all aspects of the case. One of the most important things that we do early in a case is to reach out to survivors, reach out to family members, to try to make sure they have the information and support that they need. And there often is a whole list of kinds of support that they need. Um, it is my hope that we're able not only to provide that support with our partners who do victim witness services, but that we're able to provide it moving forward in ways we may not even understand are necessary just yet. At this time, I'm going to call forward ADA Joanne Pescator 
and the attorney who will prosecute it, ADA Katie Wood, to lay out the specifics uh, of certain facts about the case and also to lay out for you what the charges are at this time. Thank you, DA Kreisner. Uh, good morning. First of all, our condolences to the doctor's family. Uh, we spoke to the doctor's mother and father and uh, spouse uh, last night, myself and Gabriella Rainey from Central Victim Services. Um, as the DA said, this is a horrific uh, crime. Um, back on July 17th, uh, Michael Vahey was operating his car at a high rate of speed on Spruce Street when he struck Dr. Frieda's who was legally in the bike lane where she, was, where she should have been. He struck her with such impact that he threw her body um, at least 150 feet, and she was dead probably then. Um, he was traveling at at least 57 miles an hour when he struck Dr. Frieda's. He also almost struck another pedestrian as well. The charges that have been approved by the DA himself are homicide by vehicle while DUI, homicide by vehicle, involuntary manslaughter, driving under the influence of alcohol, recklessly endangering another person, reckless driving, and exceeding the speed limit. From this point forward, after the arraignment is completed and bail is set in this particular case, uh, no matter what the bail is, if it's not what the DA's office has asked for, we will be appealing that. Uh, the defendant will then face a preliminary hearing in this matter. It's usually seven to ten days from the arraignment. Uh, ADA Katie Wood will be assigned to that case. We are working diligently with the Crash Investigation Division and Officer Dominic, who did a phenomenal job in this case. We are asking the public if you have any information in this case, video, cell phone, anything that you know about this case that could be helpful to call either one of us or call the Crash Investigation Division and give us that information. Thank you. In terms of some of the specific uh, factual findings that we have at this point, thanks to the excellent investigation done by the police department, I can tell you that we have video evidence, we have other electronic and technological evidence that shows at a minimum the following. At the time the doctor and her bicycle were struck, the um, striking vehicle driven by Mr. Vahey was in the bike lane where it is not permitted to be. It was traveling, we believe, in excess of 50 miles an hour. The speed limit there, uh, I understand, to be 25 miles an hour. The vehicle, in addition to striking and killing the doctor, struck multiple other cars, came to rest. Uh, Vahey was in the driver's seat and was removed from the car after the accident. Um, you know, and obviously all of that taken together is a crime and it's unacceptable and the consequence is horrible. Uh, and we intend to prosecute this case justly and vigorously and to do what we can not only to make sure that there is accountability in this case, but do what we can to make sure that we do not have these accidents in the future to the extent we can 